Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Coloring Chat with Joanna. I'm Joanna. How you doing? Um, this is a very special diamond painting to me because long-suffering hubby picked it out for me. Now, I didn't even know it was in my order. And I, you know what? Really, if you have a partner or, you know, a long-suffering hubby like mine, once in a while, ask them what they like, you know, because they're going to be looking at it. We're going to wallpaper the, the walls with this stuff. So they might as well have something they like, right? Right. Uh, true, true. Okay. Um, so I already took her out of the box and I already cut it because I thought everything was going normal and technology. She is a mean girl at the lunch table. I swear to God. One day I love her and the next day she's like, I'm going to wreck your life. And she does before coffee. Nasty old girl. I'm telling you, I'm going to find her one day. Anyway, so we have her already unboxed. So you don't have to listen to the boxing. I know I'll get you some ASMR, I promise. Maybe I'll make some weird sounds. Okay. Now, this is going to be a longer upload because it's going to come with a story. Because... I think we all need a little bit of a story today. You know, a little story. Not from my mother, but from me. Okay, this is called Steadfast Heart. Look at that tiger. Oh my God. Look at his eyes. That is, I mean... I don't know who Milan Art is, but they, you know, I'm not usually an abstract girl, and I'm very picky about pictures of tigers. I hardly ever buy any because, um, you know, they have to be correct. Once you have, once you work with tigers, and you and you really like, I worked with tigers for five years. Okay. So I know what they look like. I know what they're thinking. I know their expressions. And oh, get a load. But what I love about this, now, I love it that hubby bought it for me um, because I, I didn't choose it. He chose it for me. But this boy right here, this is... A very protective expression and you don't want to see that face if you're not her if you're her you're cool and I love it that he thinks that you know that he sees me in that and it was so sweet um I do have a tiger story <laughs> And this is probably, now some of the older uh, subscribers may know this story, but, you know, for the new subscribers, I'm going to go ahead and tell it to you really quickly. Okay, so I was in a paddock. We had big paddocks at the Nature Center, and we had uh, 42 tigers at the time. This was Polly. He was my favorite. I I know we all say... I don't have a favorite child, but you know, we all do. We all do, right? Anyway, I was out there alone with him. I did not bring David that day uh, because uh, all I had was a student who was uh, studying animal husbandry, and she was a teenager, but you have to have a spotter. You cannot be any kind of a trainer or I, we don't even call ourselves trainers because we didn't teach them to do stupid pet tricks or anything. But we did um, food reward and we did uh, just just try to let them be tigers and not, you know, circus animals. 
Never made him jump through fire. Never took a tiger to Vegas. I ain't that girl. Um, anyway, so Polly and I were playing, and he was just frisky. I don't know what was going on with him that day, but he was like, I need my mommy, I need my mommy, I need my... You know, like when, when Fiona gets scared of like a, a trash truck, which... You know, the trash truck comes by and she freaks out. I need my mother. I need my mother. I need my mother. Well, he was like all needy. And I was like, okay, let's play. So we were playing and we roll. And of course, you know, I don't ever, you know, I don't have time to take movies and Instagram. Back then we didn't have Insta, thank God, um, because it would have freaked people out. But. Anyway, um, I rolled on the ground, he plopped on top of me, and his teeth went right here across my neck, my lower neck, okay? <laughs> and I think I didn't go up in the jugular, it was like a lower neck. And he was just, he kind of had me in a hold, and the way you get out of a hold on a tiger is you tickle them in the chest, like, like when you, when you, you know, when you uh, scratch your dog, like right between his front paws, he gets jiggly feet and he gets all ticklish. That's a tickle spot. And so he let go. But when he let go, one of his, uh, one of his, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? One of his duck tooth it caught me and so it scratched me and I mean it kind of got me it wasn't a deep cut but it was just deep enough to start bleeding out so I had to get up right away because tigers you know they smell blood and they're not like white sharks in the water but you don't want to take that chance anyway so I get up and I'm kind of like no, Polly down, Polly down, Polly down. And when I would say down, he would roll over and play dead for me. It was his stupid tiger trick. It was really cute. So he laid down and played dead. And I just kind of got out of the paddock as quick as I could. Now, my little teenager, first year vet student is freaking out. She is like, oh my God, oh my God. I was like, shut up right now. Do not yell you're gonna scare the hell out of my cat quiet quiet everybody just stay quiet so we locked all the paddocks because there's a there's a fence and then there's a a safety fence and if you don't lock both of them i'm gonna come after you like you're made of ham because they have to be double locked um anyway so the girl can't drive, okay? <laughs> she doesn't know how to drive yet. She doesn't have a driver's license. So I have to drive myself in a minivan. Now I am reaching down. I'm like, dig. Start digging for anything. Paper towels, anything. Because I'm starting to kind of look like uh, uh, a really creepy lady from a horror movie. Because it's starting to drip down all over the place. Anyway... <laughs> It's not hurting, but I know I'm starting to lose a little bit of blood and I'm a hypoglycemic, so I didn't eat breakfast that morning, so I, I got a few things working here. I'm on my way to the ER and I get pulled over by the cops. Now, I am the most wonderful, perfect driver in the universe. I have no wreckage, no tickets. I'll be damned if the state trooper didn't pull me over. And he pulls over and I'm holding. <laughs> I told her, I said, go in my bag, go in my bag. You know, because I always have a backpack. It has everything in it. And there's usually a towel or two in there. So I get a, a part of a towel and he's like, are you okay? And he pulls his gun because he thinks a teenager is like, trying to murder me or something 
I'm like, we're fine, we're fine. A stray dog, I was I was out with my girlfriend, a stray dog got me, and he scratched me, and I'm going to the ER right now. It's a piddly little ER. When you live in the country in Texas, girl, you country, you country. I mean, this place had like three nurses, one doctor, and I, I don't know, somebody who wanted to be a doctor you know this was this is whole staff anyway so he says okay follow me follow me i was like he's like are you okay to drive do we need an ambulance i said i'm fine i'm following you we're three minutes away you know and i got right to the er and i started feeling dizzy and this big old six foot five he looked like the rock. I'm not kidding you. He was huge. I mean, this guy, he must have been juicing for years. He looked like the rock. And he picked me up, you know, like I felt like a like a two-pound doll. I mean, uh, okay, I wasn't super skinny back then, but I wasn't as fat as I am now. Anyway, he picked me up like nothing and got me into a wheelchair and I got in the ER and I swear to God. Now there are, there are nurses, okay, who are gay and kind of sarcastic and kind of funny. Uh, this guy reminds me a lot of the nurse, uh, Nurse Jackie. Did you guys ever watch Nurse Jackie? You should watch it. It's really, really good. Anyway, so he looks at me. He's wearing a psychedelic uh, surgical shirt. He looks like he just came from the club. Meanwhile, what I have that is holding my neck right here do you guys, okay, this is for the old ladies. They used to make sanitary napkins that were the size of bed pillows. They were so big. <laughs> I'm not kidding. They were like this big and this thick. And I was like, give me that. That'll hold it. You know, so I'm holding this thing on my neck. I'm looking at him and I'm going, I'm fine, I'm fine. My whole shirt's covered in blood. I look like a crime scene and the nurse looks at me and he goes, girlfriend, that is not supposed to go there. You're supposed to wear that in another part of your body. And I laugh my ass off and then I passed out. And when I woke up, they gave me stitches. I It was like, you know, 12 stitches. It was nothing. Uh, no veins were hit. Uh, no no uh, arteries were damaged, but I had to tell that teenager, don't you say a freaking word. I got bit by a, a stray dog and that's it. Well, if it was a stray dog, we got to get you a tetanus shot. I'll take the tetanus shot because I don't want anybody to hurt my baby because I knew they were going to go out there and they were going to make a big fuss because they weren't the, the nature center was very well secured. It was as secured, I mean, it was more secured than Rikers Island. There were fences and barbed wire and double fences and reinforcements. I mean, it was really, really, you know, we kept it as safe as we could. But there were people who did live around there who didn't like the fact that there were exotic wild animals, you know, but where are they going to go? Where are they going to go? I mean, they were all taken mostly, a lot of them were um, from uh, drug dealers, really. Drug dealers love exotic animals. I don't know why the hell they do, because they don't know a damn thing about them. But anyway, so that's my story. I love my husband for getting me something with beautiful pink roses. I'm going to sparkle the crap out of that. Look at that. And his eyes, his eyes are so serious and her eyes are beautiful. Um, I almost want to cry because he sees me this way and that is so special. And uh, 
So I'm going to go make my hubby a cheesecake. I hope you guys have a good day. And um, yeah, thank you so much. Oh, by the way, 66 colors and one, two, three, three ABs. But I'm going to bling the... I'm going to bling the hell out of this. I really am. Um, uh, I've never done an abstract piece like this before. So you guys are going to have to guide me through it. And any advice you have, please give it to me now. Remember, you are important to me. That means you are, you're important to you. If If you're important to me, shouldn't you be important to you? take care of you. Go do something nice today. It's a beautiful day. And if it's not a beautiful day, then go watch a cozy movie and curl up and just be kind to you. I'll see you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.